What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys here today. And also we have an unfuck also. So make sure to tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how the unfuck look and get some little details. Apart from that, we have the Adidas ZZ500 Clay Brown. I'm gonna give you guys a quick 360 before starting on this video. A quick one. All right, all right. Pause, pause, pause. As always, guys, thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. It comes a long way. So if you guys do like this video, join the family. Join the family. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the shoe. Rate the shoe. Um, give your honest opinion. Um, let me know if you guys pass or not. If you guys gonna wait for another easy or another 500. And yeah, but aside from that, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can follow me at Chris MIA underscore, which is my personal. But if you guys want to follow the sneaker pages, see some sneaker um, pictures and content, you guys can follow the sneaker pages at sneakers and chris on instagram and on tiktok but oh one more thing i do have a clothing brand can't forget about that so if you guys want to rock with me support me it's at tapping 305 and yeah thank you guys let's get right into this video starting with the box as we always do we cannot forget the box you guys sure already know kanye easy don't really surprise us with boxes it's always the same thing we just got 500 on this one and then we have the Yeezy 500 right here, made by Adidas with the sign right here where you open it. And then no boost, no boost on the side, no boost on the side. This is where the label at. I know the lighting might be a little too much, but I'll insert a, um, a video so you guys can see it clearer because I know you guys like to see the label. So the label reads Yeezy 500 size 10, um, GX3606, um, C-L-A-B-R-W three times top and bottoms which stands for clay brown and you have originals top and bottom made in vietnam this is made in vietnam not china not u.s so make sure watch out for that um uk is a nine and a half all right and yeah that's pretty much it and as you open the box you just got the paper wrapping and the shoe itself So now that we're done with the box, let's jump straight into the shoe. So this shoe released today, Saturday, October 30, alongside with the Jordan 3 Pine Green. So if you guys haven't checked that video out, I also have an on-foot review and a review on it on my page. So make sure to check that out after this video. But aside from that, let's talk more about this shoe. So yes, this shoe released today. Um, a lot of stores had them. And yeah, a lot of stores had them. You had them on the apps like Adidas, Confirm. You, I seen it on Foot Locker. I seen it on Foot Locker, but only one location in my area. Um, what else? Mm, and you had a couple. I think you had, yeah, you had a couple of first come first. So if you wanted these, especially in the U.S., it was. I don't think it was that hard. But I feel like a lot of people were sleeping on these also. So there might be still there might be still some available if you guys still need them by the by today. I don't know about tomorrow, but because these usually sell out pretty quick. So I'll say by today. Um, you guys can always try it tomorrow. But yes, aside from that, let's get straight into the material and the color. So clay brown, as you guys can see. I see a lot of different color, like different tone of brown. So let's start with the where the suede is at. Ooh, the suede is pretty nice. The suede is pure, pretty nice. So this is how the 500 suede's be. Um, we have this one in a different color brown alongside with the more suede's that we see right here. But now where the where you get a different type of tone of brown is where the leather material is at. As you guys can see right here. Well, let me see another one. Um, you guys can just see through right here a little close to the eyelids you, you can see some leather material and then you oh you also have it right here on the tongue going down the tongue so you guys can see like a different tone of brown even the laces kind of look like a different tone of brown kind of like a mixture of like a a mauve like a yeah a mauve colorway you know like the mauves that came out mesh also on the side is a different type of brown you can see the mesh on out here it's pretty thick you have some mesh also on your tongue going down your tongue and inside you have like a silk material different tone of brown behind the tongue is the sizing tag and then let's go to the midsole you do see on this side on the inside you do see adidas right here and then on the outside you see this right here um the midsole i'll 
I'll definitely say it's a different type, different tone of brown also, and right here also. And this material right here, kind of like a soft rubber, but you could you still could rub on it. Like you could hear some, you see. But it's not bad. That's what we usually get on our 500. That's how I usually be. And then the also you have your also in pure brown. Looks pretty nice. Honestly, I feel like these are a cop and a pass at the same time. Definitely Kanye always giving us the earth colorway with the 500s. We had a couple that was different, like the black one, um, which the black one to me is obviously the best 500s that came out. And I think they are restocking pretty soon. So be on the lookout if you guys need these. I kind of need them myself. I still don't have a personal pair of those. Actually, I don't have a personal pair of 500s at all. And if you guys are wondering, I know a lot, Um, if you guys are wondering, I usually wear size 11 in Yeezys or a 10 and a half, but these I went actually true to size, which is size 10. And I'll say that, going half a size up so let's talk about sizing going half a size up is pretty good with a 500s because the 10 fits but it's tight so i'll say just to have a little more room just go half a size up so next time now if i do get the 500s black i'll definitely go for a 10 and a half for my personal pair but these aren't too bad So the comfort and these aren't too bad. I would definitely say having boost is a little bit, a little bit better. So having boost in like your 350s, your 700s, definitely better than these um, type of material. But it's, it's all good. It's not like it's bad. It's pretty comfortable also, but I definitely like the boost better. But aside from that, I think that's pretty much it. Let's dive in straight into rating. Honestly, the color looks pretty nice. I feel like it match with a lot of things. And it's a shoe that just because of the color you could beat the shoes pretty easy and not worry about getting it dirty because not it's not gonna look too dirty so i'm giving this a eight i'm just i'm giving this one a eight i don't know it's still a pass and cop for me i feel like if you already have enough 500s you don't need to get these or if you already have a yeezy that's close to this colorway you don't need to get them but i feel like if you don't have no 500s or don't have any um yeezy that's close to this colorway go ahead and get them that's in my opinion that's how i feel but i'm giving this a eight it's not too bad i'm kind of kind of like it kind of just eh. but it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video oh one more thing is let me know what you guys are wearing today comment below your outfit what shoe you wearing today if you got some yeezys if you got some jordan let me know what you're wearing today um i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing and you guys can see But aside from that, that's pretty much it for my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. The Sneakers and Chris, I am out.